In the year of 1984, many disastrous episodes occur in the Sikh religion. India had launched a full scale of invasion of the Golden Temple and many Gurdwaras across Punjab. They also suspended safeguards, changed villages to murder fields, and human rights organizations were denied. In these few minutes, I will describe my opinions and answers with you on the 1984 traumatic event. Many people thought that the events of 1984 and following years were a natural response of a country to preserve its uprightness and ensure peaceful coexistence for all. My view on this respect is how could a government plan an execution to the entire religion, to their holy place? The Sikhs are known as confident and strong citizens. We are not known as a fighting tech unless it is a necessity. Indira Gandhi had put army forces in the Darbar side. Many innocent people were killed, and their precious history was destroyed. The Sikhs became furious and felt completely disrespected, and eventually planned to kill her. As soon as she died, her son, Rajiv Gandhi, became the new prime minister. Unfortunately, his first statement was, quote, when a big tree falls, the earth shakes, end quote. By saying this, he justified the killing of innocent people after Ms. Indira Gandhi's death. I think he was one who was instrumental in letting down all the Sikhs. And the Sikhs were burned alive. Hairs were cut. It was a complete massacre. Even though we all have many differences, we are all reaching one goal, be with God. We all have to respect each other and our many beliefs and values. We are all basically one big family, a brotherhood. Ik om God, there is one God. Regardless of race, religion, or creed, we are all his children. Quote, the disappeared have floated away as ash on Punjab's rivers or been carried skyward as smoke into Punjab's scorching heavens. The few bits of evidence we have shock and repel us. A photo of a heap partially burned bodies, eerily reminiscent of the Holocaust. Another a Polaroid print of a wild dog tearing at the charcoal remains of a human leg. India is a place where innocent people die, where canals are clogged with bodies and crematoria sweep away nameless ashes, where human right workers disappear or are thrown in jail. It is both cradle and a grave, end quote. This quote was stated by Dr. Cynthia Mahmoud. This quote has made a deep impression to me. Even though it might be hurtful and disturbing, it definitely makes you feel completely disappointed in how the Sikhs were treated in the past. It was done systematically. The army will come to a village, and in the evening, they will have it off the village and ask the male members to come forward even if they are five-year-old kids or seven-year-old grandfathers. They would blindfold them and take them away. What was this? Genocide? And then our Hindu leader, Balram Jaffer, quote, to preserve the immunity of India, if we have to eradicate 20 million Sikhs, we will do so, end quote. And they tried to do that to the Sikhs who were instrumental in getting them independence. For India's independence, 71% of the sacrifice came from Sikhs. 81% of all the jailed people during the battle of independence we're six. This is sad. This is not the way to pay back for the community who made you free. I think that they forgot they are called Hindus because of the six. The six who believe in universal religion saved them from the Muslims. Otherwise, whole India would have been forcibly converted to Islam. I know I was not born at that time, but reading this book makes me realize what our ancestors went through, and I bow to them. The third question is raised. What steps can six take so that the events described in the book do not happen again? Recently, we saw a part of the movie made by six, Widow Colony. It was so sad what happened to the women and their families after the riots. We as their brothers and sisters have not helped them, which is the sad part. We should make a point that the culprits who have been roaming around in the streets should be held responsible for their wrongdoings and be punished. If we do not punish them, then this can happen again. It can do a lot of things, and I think it starts from an individual person. First, we've got to know who we are. We've got to become the six. The real six who believe in white blue and help others, or seva. Now, Jopana is so important, and we're going away from it. Once we know who we are and become the six again, we have to teach others about us, our values, so they can respect us. Although we are in America, 
We have not taught our neighbors about Sikhism. That's why, after 9-11-2001, Balbir Singh Sani was shot in Phoenix, Arizona. This happened because of mistaken identity. Instead of teaching people about our turban, we take it off. We have to teach the kids so they can tell their friends, and I'm glad our Gurdwara has started the Sikh Heritage College. Step in the right direction. But I wish during Sunday service some time is devoted to Sikh history and culture. Parents have to put their effort. Either teach their kids Punjabi or do Gurdwara service in English. Parents have to act as a good role model. If they don't learn their religion and don't act like Sikhs, don't expect your kids to become Sikh. Even though our community is so small, we've got to stay together and help each other. Be strong. Be Sikhs. Why would you go? Why would you